Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. It is the grandest Monday of the month because it is Macro Monday and we are drinking Bira Moretti Autentica from the Bira Moretti out of Udine, Italy. Thanks for joining us. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review. It is the best Monday of the month. It is Macro Monday, and this is the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing, and we're going to do that for another Macro today. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay, I, and Ben. What are we drinking, gentlemen? Beer Moretti. Right, Andrew? Beer Moretti. La Autentica. That, that's part yep, of the actual take. name. Yeah, because oh. Beer Moretti makes other beers. Beer Moretti is technically named a brewery. Ah, whoever brought this one to me. Thank you for the peerage. You're quite welcome. My pleasure, sir. Mm hmm. Mm. Everybody had this one. I haven't logged it, but I believe I have. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. <laughs> Been a minute. Thinking definitely last time I had it was at Disney. Mm -hmm. At one of the um pavilions. Pavilions. I cause I know I had um the blonde at Universal Studios. Um we were staying at the um Portofino. So it's all, that's pretty cool. It's all made up like uh, Portofino in, in Italy. Where did I have this? Yeah. Um, nope. All about it. I, I had it in my house. Sorry. I had to take a moment. We're just trying to do a beer show here. <laughs> we are recording and I'm, I'm just like going off on my side. Sorry. I was about to review this. <laughs> this is, Why don't you tell us about the beer and how this is a wonderful macro Monday? You know, it is a pale lager, uh, an Italian style lager. They're a little uh, different uh, from some of the other ones, but it's made of it's four point six percent, twelve IBUs, made of water, malted barley, maize, and hops. You can definitely pick up the maize. The brewery started in 1859. The first uh, bottle was sold in 1860. It started being produced in 1859. However, out of Udine, Italy, in the e Friuli region, it's kind of north eastern Italy. Uh, it was founded by. Luigi Moretti. He was from a family of uh, wealthy merchants. And so he first, he opened Beer Moretti and it started as trading beer uh, from Austria before he started brewing. And 1860s when he sold the actual first bottle of Beer Moretti. Is that uh, him on that, the label? No, but I'm going to get to that. Hmm. I'm jumping thanks ahead. Sorry, Andy. Thanks for alluding to that. I'm setting you up. Yeah. At the time, things were kind of tumultuous because they were still under the rule of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And um, there was a lot of political unrest, but the brewery survived through that. So 
Fast forward 1942, the nephew of Luigi was at this uh, trattoria, was type of restaurant. It's like a casual dining restaurant. And he saw a gentleman enjoying a beer of Moretti. And he thought, this guy's got this unique mustache. And he felt he embodied the values of the beer. And so he asked to take a picture of him. And the man said, yes, but all he wanted in return was another beer. Give me another beer, Moretti. You can take my picture. And the uh, one of the photographs that show, like, or on the the website, it showed this guy's like a really long, hanging down, you know, mustache. Um, so that's that's where the guy on the uh, wearing the hat and drinking a beer, and he's like, "Hey, this is depicts what we want uh, people to feel like drinking our beer." I don't feel like that guy drinking his beer, but. The guy looks uh, dirty. (laughs) You'll get your chance to review. Uh, The brewery was family owned until eight or 1989, and it was sold to a kind of a consortium of uh, brewers. In 1996, it was bought by Heineken. They're for it's now the macro. Uh, It's distributed in over 40 countries. And in 2006, it won gold and silver medals at the World Beer Cup. Didn't tell me what category it was, but yeah. Interesting. And I'm done. That's it for Macro Monday, huh? Wow. Yeah. I was actually surprised that I couldn't find more dirt on beer already. It's one of the faster macros we've had. Yeah. Did you stay? Sorry. I don't know what's year... come over me. Did you state the year when that picture was taken? Yeah, 1959. 1942. 1942. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. So everybody's had this one, right? Yes. I haven't I haven't logged it. I'm sure I have, but if you want me to go first, Ben, I will be happy to. Oh, that would be <laughs> he loves it when you go first. You swell, <laughs> what do you think? Um <laughs> Lagers and pilsners, light beers. I, pilsners I could do without most of the time, just because they they have a little bit more off-putting malt. Lagers I enjoy from time to time, but we all know that most of the macros fall into that category for the light beer and the way they are. This one to me is is good and unique. Um, it's got a little more flavor than a lot of the other lagers that we traditionally have. Um, it's still kind of got that sweetness and that that maize or that corn as we talk about you can taste it It, it's almost like it has a little bit of the the fresh water or whatever they they brew it with there um i guess their spring water however they they use it but um it's it's a little step above some of the standard macros we have so i'll probably rate this a seven um it's one that obviously is a little bit harder for us to get, but it's still distributed. Like Andy said, I guess what to 40 different countries. So. Yeah. All right. And where'd you get this? To... Huh? Where'd you get this? I'm pretty sure I got it in Colorado. Okay. I can't remember if I saw it at, in when I was at the beer store in Birmingham, Jay. Um, you probably did. Um, yeah. I'll have to look and see if it's here in, in the North Alabama area, but I'm fairly certain it is. All right, I'll jump in there and go. Um, so I think this one is for a import light logger. I think this one's really good. I think it's, um, you know, it's everything, Jay, you said. You definitely get you definitely can pick out if you if you taste enough of these beers you can definitely pick out that corn um flavor it's it's not though it's not overpowering like we've had on some of the macros i mean it's not it's not enough to uh be offensive let's put it that way i think uh the flavor is good it's it's just a light lager this to me is a great filler beer like i wish i could get this one to keep you know a couple six packs in my fridge 
um, to, to have as a filler. I'd even get a keg of this if I could get it, honestly, um, just because of the ABV and, and the light flavor and, and uh, whatnot. So um, I, I, I like it. Wouldn't have a problem drinking it at any point. I, I'd much rather have this than a lot of the American macro light lagers that we come across. Um, so I'm going to give this one a seven and a half. I, I think it's flavorful. Um, I just wish we could get more of it. Well, I ain't mad at it. I'll say that. <laughs> it I, just uh, leaves you, Andy. Yeah. I, I've always kind of liked beer I'm already. I'm, and I've got, you know, I've got a thing for Italian lagers. I don't know. I think Italian lagers are the ones I've had a little crisper. And unfortunately it does add the maize, the corn. Um, so, but it is got more flavorful, you know, notes to it than the U S macro lagers. I hope I am, and I'm trying not to get all mental and psychological, just trying to convince myself that, or tell myself that I like this better because it's, it's a, you know, a foreign import versus, you know, drinking an old dirty white boy bud heavy, you know. Um, but I, I really do think it's just, it's got more flavor. And anytime I've had uh, Beer Moretti, and and I, you know I guess I've only logged it once, but I, I have had it more than that. I've always liked it, and you know I'm I'm on board, y'all. I'm I'm going to give it a seven, seven point oh. I think we just need to do that uh, Macro Monday blind taste test and really figure out <laughs> where we where we fall out on some of these one day. That's a little more complicated because we have to have someone with us to pour all these and do the blind taste portion of it so and there's nobody in my life oh, okay i was about to say nobody comes up in the attic i'm just yeah. <laughs> it's <hermit>. restricted <laughs> That will be a 7.2 for the beer Moretti on a macro Monday. Definitely a beer that I think for a macro, you should give a shot if you haven't had it. I mean, it's in a lot of places. So if you're watching this lame beer review show, you've probably had it before, but at least it's lame on a macro Monday or something. Uh, definitely appreciate you checking out this video. Be sure to like, subscribe and cheers that notification bell. If you like lame beer shows, uh, add this one to your repertoire. Go down and check us out on all the links for social media accounts. Come say hey in our Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server. It's just a lame chat room. And uh, check out our lame merchandise at the link below as well. You can pick up something like a no, glass. Jay's, Jay's being lame today. And there we go. Fitting for this one. <laughs> uh, so... With that, uh, again, yeah, again, appreciate you checking out our Macro Monday video here. Hope everybody's having a great Macro Monday. Cheers, mates. Cheers, Cheers mates. mates.